better to love than to give into hate. Hey loves, welcome to my channel. My name is Levon Tanisha. If this is your first time coming to my channel, please subscribe. In this video, I'm just going to create a look, this look actually, um, with the two products that I just bought. This is the Natasha Denona Mini Sunset Palette, and this is the Huda Beauty Strobe and Metallic Lip Gloss in Shameless. Um, I picked these up about two weeks ago, and I haven't had a chance to play with them yet, so I just wanted to create a look um, with it just to see how the products work. The Natasha Denona reminds me of my first palette that I got, like back in 1997, and I just wanted to play with these colors. I also thought it would be good to take with me when I travel because it's so small. It's a little mini, mini palette. Along with those two products, I purchased lashes as well. These are the Huda Beauty Scarlet in number eight. I did not show in this video how to apply them because they're a little hard to apply because of the band thickness, but we'll get into that in the video. So if you wanna see how I created this look, please stay tuned and let's get into the video. So I've done my brows already and now I'm going to move on to my eyeshadow primer. This is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm putting this all over my lids. If you wanna see how I did my eyebrows, um, I'm gonna place the link right here. You can check out that video. So now I'm just gonna blend my primer in. And the palette that I'm gonna to use today is the Natasha Denona Mini Sunset Palette. It's a really small palette, it fits in your hand, you get five colors. And I'm gonna work with these colors today. I wanted a small palette for travel, you know, in the summertime. I don't like to take a lot with me, a lot of makeup with me, because you never know if you're gonna lose your makeup kit or not. So, anything that's mini definitely goes in my travel kit. There's three frost and two mattes. I'm gonna start with the matte in my crease. I'm gonna use this one here. It is called Dirty Mars. With my blending brush, my 224 by MAC, I'm gonna blend this into my crease. And guys, you know I like using these burnt oranges in my crease because it's gonna warm up this area. I'm concentrating most of the pigment in my crease here, or above my crease, and then I'm just lightly blending it out into the transition. Now for my lid color, I'm gonna use this color here. It's called Apollo. I'm gonna place this all over my lid. It's like a cranberry. Look at that pigment. Wow. It's a lot of pigment. I'm gonna bring it above my crease just a little bit so I can see the color, I have small eyelids. I wanna take Dirty Mars again and just lightly blend these two colors together. I, mean, I would be happy with this look by itself, but because I wanna use another color from the palette, I'm gonna add another color, but I believe you could wear this this is just two eyeshadow colors. It looks good. The next color I'm gonna take is Sunbeam. It's this color here. More of like a golden bronzy color. I'm gonna put this in the inner corners here. And I'm using a 219 brush from MAC. This is a small, stiff, tapered brush. And right under my brow bone, I'm gonna use Halo. And I'm also using the 224 brush to apply it. You just wanna lightly apply it here. And then next, I'm gonna do Guava. Now I've used all five colors from this palette. I like how it turned out. I'm gonna clean up my eyes and I'll be right back. For my primer today, I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Foundation I'm using today is the 7.5 Match Master by MAC. 
And I'm using a buffing brush today. So I'm gonna load up my brush. And start applying. Next, I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Deep and put this under my eyes. I'm gonna do a little extra highlighting today. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And now with my beauty sponge, I'm just going to blend this in. It is wet, I like to spray a little bit of Fix Plus on it. I feel like I haven't done my makeup in weeks, but it's been about, yeah, about two weeks. I'm gonna set my concealer with the Ben Nye in Topaz. It's a translucent powder. And this is gonna brighten up under my eyes because I'm using like a golden, a golden powder. With my Mineral Skin Finish in Dark by MAC, I'm going to set the rest of my face. This is a sheer powder. Has a little bit of color to it. With my angle powder brush, I'm going to apply NW58 Studio Fix Powder by MAC. And this is just gonna give some dimension to my face. I'm gonna put it in the hollows of my cheek and around the perimeter of my face. I definitely wanna get under here because my face is getting a little chunk chunk. I need to do some contouring now. When I'm busy, my diet is not always the best. I need to work on that. You gotta fake it till you make it. Next for a blush, this is Format by MAC. I'm just gonna blend this into my contour. This is the Hustler Baby Highlighter by Fenty Beauty. Just want a little bit of highlight. Actually, I want a lot of highlight today. I'm in the mood for a little highlighter. And now onto my mascara. This is Hot and Naughty by MAC. I just bought this mascara. This is a new one. You're supposed to change your mascaras frequently. Maybe like every three months. So mascara's on. Now for some lashes. These are the Huda Beauty Scarlet Number no. 8. I usually buy the Samantha number no. sevens, they're my favorite, but they were out of stock. So I wanted to give these a try. Okay, back with my lashes on. These are really challenging to put on, so I did it off camera, but they look great. It gives a lot of drama. However, the band is really thick. So when you're selecting your lashes, don't always just go by um, how they look. If you're not um, advanced or a pro at putting on lashes or expert, whatever you want to call it, it's going to be challenging for a thicker band. This is why I usually stick to the Samanthas. They have a better band. It's not as thick. If you ever look at the band, you'll see like dashes sometimes. So it's like separation of the hair. Um, those are easier to apply. I'm gonna finish up my eyes. I'm going to apply a black liner on my waterline. This is the black opal licorice. Back with my 219 brush. I'm going to spray a little Fix Plus on it. And under my eyes, I'm gonna use the same color, the Apollo. 
I'm gonna line my underneath of my eyes here. I'm only gonna take it halfway because the other half I'm gonna use the gold color. Now moving on to my lips, I'm gonna use Chestnut by MAC for a lip liner. I'm gonna use Taupe Lipstick by MAC. This is another new purchase. This is the Strobing Metallic Lip Gloss in Shameless by Huda Beauty. So loves, this is the final look. This is the look I created with the Natasha Denona Mini Sunset Palette. I really do like this palette. Um, it is small, however, it gives a lot of color. It gives a lot of pigment. And I've tried her palettes before, like just testing out in the store. Her palettes are really expensive. Um, this one retail for $25. Her full palettes retail for $129 I believe or $239 I believe is the larger palette so I wanted to start with the little palette just to like test out the colors um, and I like it I would definitely recommend it especially like if you just want to take something with you you can create all types of looks with this um, I do like that there's two matte shadows in here so you can use that for your crease or your transition color and then you can play around with the other colors for your lid color and as far as the shameless strobing metallic lip gloss i really like this lip gloss i've tried it over top of different lipsticks my favorite combination is usually over something nude and what else did i get oh the lashes i still like the lashes they are a little bit dramatic I didn't even do a liner with these up top. Maybe I should, I'll do that in a little bit. Um, but this is the look. So if you enjoyed this look, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna try to have some more videos for you soon. This is a busy season for me, so bear with me. Videos are still coming. I'm still enjoying making them for you guys. So. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Next, I'm using a sharp tip. I do this every time. It's a really, uh-oh. Look, it's sticking right here. Purchase, this is the, um, what is this called?